How will we apply ethics to ensure that we're building the new machines and new AI systems in a way that ensures inclusion, diversity, and a healthy society? In many aspects, society at large may not even know yet what they want because a lot of this is so new and, and the, the change is going to be, can be so profound. It was just announced this week that there's going to be a uh, call it a, an ethical AI board, which is bringing academics from different aspects um, of philosophy, policy, as well as the very uh, technical nature from these companies to, to have an open dialogue. And I think that's where it starts. Today we are in a reactive mode, and it's becoming very clear that that's not the way to go about it because it causes regulations, publicity, PR disasters. As an industry, we have to anticipate and put measures in place as to what are we going to do. These things don't invent themselves. Even AI doesn't invent itself. There are people behind the machines. Humans are full of bias. It's humans behind these machines. And if we want to fix it, we have to fix humans. And I'm not sure how to do that. This is really hard, mm. right? Yeah, we ha yes, we haven't invented these, and it's really hard. So, uh, and I think you're absolutely right. I mean, uh, some of the big platform companies take a lot of heat, um, but they're arguably the first. And, and I think they're doing by and large, a good job of trying to react. I will be afraid of Terminators when the electric door on my minivan works consistently. I think that the, <laughs> we're just not there yet. Um, minivan. Any van, right? So uh, <laughs> the uh, ethics side of this is in its infancy. We're just just starting to think about how to apply these to profound business and societal problems. There is a greater responsibility we have towards society. Over time, we don't unplug. So what we say is not exactly what we do. Or we may unplug, but then we're gonna plug back in again. Um, so there's a paradox between what we, would, what we assert about trust and transparency and what we actually do, which would drive the actual economic imperative of providing trust. In a roundabout way, we've come back to these very deep philosophical questions, uh, and I don't think we can avoid them. We have, to, we have to address them, and by addressing them, we can point the arrow of technology and its extension AI towards making this a better world for all of us. Mm -hmm.